in the real world the success of your ai project highly depends upon your data selection of a large language model according to your use case is important very important but i believe that equally important is the quality of your data set quality data sets are vital and paramount in fine tuning large language models for question answer task because they ensure that the model's responses are accurate relevant and contextually appropriate so if you're looking to fine tune a base model on a quality data set and you're wondering how to create that data set then this open source tool augment toolkit can help you a lot it takes any amount of data in text format and you don't have to worry about the format of that text it could be just free flowing text and then this tool converts that free flowing text into a quality data set in the form of question answer there can be some customization done but most of more often than not the usual use case is to create it in the question answer format now when trained on a high quality diverse and well annotated question answer pairs llms can better understand the nuances of human languages they can discern the intent behind questions and retrieve or generate precise answers this leads to improvements in the model's ability to handle a wide range of queries from simple factual questions to complex nuanced inquiries require requiring deep understanding and reasoning the quality of the data set directly influences the effectiveness of the llm in real world applications where the accuracy of information and the ability to understand context specific subtleties are crucial for user trust and dependability that is why i will repeat the installation of this augment toolkit in this video because i did another introductory video on this but there was a lot of demand from people to also show them the examples so what i am going to do i will show you how to install this augment toolkit locally and then we will configure the open source model from together.ai and then we will generate the data set a high quality one from our own file which will be a free flowing text file first step let's go to the local system and get this thing installed let me log into my ubuntu system this is my ubuntu system which is using ubuntu 22.04 i have one gpu of 16 gp vram install and i have 32 gp of ram let me clear my screen first step let's git clone the repo of this augment toolkit and of course i will drop the link to it in video's description so that you can also read further about it git clone that repo that's almost done net now let's cd to this directory that is also done and now let's install all the prerequisites and this includes a lot of stuff which i already should have on my system because this is all the usual stuff nothing really um, fancy there okay let me clear my screen so we also have installed all the prerequisites now let's do ls dash ltr now the main file after installation is we the config.yaml file so simply open that file in your editor so i'm going to just open it my vi editor now this is where you need to specify all the configuration which is not much whatever text file you are using which are in which you are ingesting in this augment toolkit just put it in this raw txt input directory and then it will generate it in the output directory just keep it default prompt and then this is where you need to specify your api key of the model you are using to create this data set you can use openai um, but that could prove quite expensive now instead of getting a build shock from openai i would suggest that you go to together.ai here and then create your api key which is uh, if you are first time user it gives you 25 dollar free credit so thank you to them i already have it the 25 dollars so i am going to use this key from there and i think this example where i'll be using a subset of data shouldn't cost me uh, apart from two to three four dollars okay so i will drop the link to this together.ai in video description too let's go back to our file 
so this is where i'm going to put my key i'll put it later on then just put this base url which is the base url for a provider in this case we are using together.xyz if you are using openai then you would of course use api.openai.com v1 something like that now for the logical model i am still going to use this logical model which is hosted on our together.ai so this is now serms mixed all 82 7 billion dpo and then for the large logical model and this is uh, the first model is used for everything except conversation generation whereas the second one the large log language model is used for conversation generation in our data set and i will just keep it as is now use file name you can set it to true uh, so use file name means that for example if your file name is something like if you are ingesting book you can just put the file name as book and then if you set it to true which i'm going to set it to true then it is going to use that file name in the context so it makes it easier for it assistant mode uh, i'm also turning it on true because if you are generating um if you are just trying to generate it with the purpose of professional uh, one like you want it for a uh, user and a assistant then it is going to uh, just pose it like it is happening between fictional character on historical or fictional settings so up to you whatever the use case is if you are turn it off then it will be like user and ai which will most like in the professional settings so but i am passing it a book um which is a fictional book so i'm just going to set it like this okay. now assistant mode is true and then i am going to just double check counter just keep it at three it is just checking how many um you know validations are there it will just validate and i'll just use a subset and it will just going to select a 13 chunks from the text so it won't cost you much if you just set it to false then it is going to um, work on the whole text which will be expensive if you are doing it for the real world use case just set it to false and then later on then you can just set the re rearrangements to um, three which is just about rearranging the question then currency limit let's set it to maybe uh, 50 it is a hard limit of how many calls can be run at the same times so this is will be good for the api mode so that we don't get um, blacklisted completion mode let's set it to false if you want to use chat mode this is what we are going to set and okay so mode is api which is always recommended now let me put in my api key at the top from together.ai i'm just going to i'll just replace it here in between these double quotes let me go to my together.ai grab the api key put it in here and then save the file and exit config file is safe so <clears throat> all the installation and configuration is done let me also quickly show you the my file which i have which i will be using for this so this is <clears throat> simply a book from project gutenberg it's a um, freeware so you can download it too it's simply free flowing text and it's a large text but i'm not going to use the whole because as i said i will just be using the subset of 13 chunks out of that so this is the text file i'm going to use in my augment toolkit to generate a data set okay let's go here and now let me clear my screen and then simply you need to run this processing dot y from this uh, root and then it is going to generate the data set so let's press enter here and you can see that it is generating the data set so downloading the tokenizers and models and there you go it is creating it it don't take too long because i'm just generating it the subset of it So you can see that it has generated a lot of uh, data there in terms of system prompt and if i uh, scroll down here you will see more but let me show you in my notepad to make it a bit easier here this is my notepad i just copy pasted here so you can see that we have system role we have users role and we have the assistant role so and then there is this is just a conversation between assistant and user assistant and user assistant and user now if you're aware of the prompt engineering uh, the system prompt is a technical infrastructure enabling the interaction in this case augment toolkit whereas the assistant is the llm 
providing responses in our case a mixed role one from together.ai and the user is a person engaging with the system through the system and you can already sense that this is just taking the data from that project Gutenberg ebook and then creating it in proper format of the JSON format of a data set which will when you will fine tune any model on this sort of data set it will be easier for that model to ingest the data and the quality of response and will be huge and I believe that even the fine tuning speed will be improved just by providing it data in this format. So this is how you install Augment Toolkit, this is how you configure it and then this is how you run it and generate a quality data set. Again for now this only works on the text format so if you have data in any other format like PDF or any other convert it to text and there are a lot of free tools there and then from there you can ingest the data it's free tool so amazing really thank you to Evan who is the creator of this I also did an interview with him you can find it in the channel he also helped out with a few of the, my questions and very generously he uh, provided me some of the answers and then if you go through this github repo this is a flow chart of this augment toolkit which is also very nicely written where it is uh, Evan is describing how it starts from end to end with all the flow charting that's it guys uh, let me know your thought try it out beautiful tool I think for the data set generation if you face any issues please paste them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer and if you like the content then please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching